Welcome to Cloud Pages, user lifecycle management for Google Apps. In this extended tutorial, we're going to go over the advanced features of email signature management. First, let's start with the basics and create an email signature template. Add to the template profile information such as first name, last name, job title, We can add some text, add the email address, telephone numbers, and finally we can go and add the location. At this point, it's a good idea to preview your signature. As we can see, all my details are being populated, except I do not have a mobile telephone number. Other users may also not have a fully populated Google Apps profile, and so we need to take this into consideration when creating our email signature. Using this if statement, we can configure Cloud Pages email signatures so that information is only displayed if it's been populated for our Google Apps users. In this example, if the user does not have a business telephone number, we will display the company's generic telephone number. We've also added a statement where if a user does not have a mobile number, we will not display it in the email signature. Now let's go ahead and add some images to our email signature. We can store these images in Google Drive as long as the folder they are in is available to anybody with the link. In order to include the image, we must first obtain the image's direct URL. This can be copied directly into Cloud Pages. However, in order to access the image directly and not with the Drive Viewer, we must change the word open to you. C, as we can see in this example here. We can now change the dimensions of the image to the most appropriate size for our email signature. So let's take a quick preview of what's been done so far. Here's my image, and as you can see, the mobile number is no longer displayed. Now that I've added all my images, I want to make some of them uniquely clickable to my particular profile. So I've created some predefined extra information such as my LinkedIn URL and my Google URL. These attributes can be populated for each of your users and added to your Cloud Pages signature. Now that we have our attribute inside the Cloud Pages signature, the easiest way to add these to our image is directly within the HTML. So let's do a quick preview. And as we can see, I have my LinkedIn URL, and if I hover over the Google Plus icon, I have my Google Plus URL linked to the image. Now that our images have been embedded and linked, we can go ahead and modify our signature with a little bit of styling around the fonts. And again, we can go directly into the HTML of the email signature 
to improve the formatting directly in the code. We've now improved the formatting, added some custom colours, as well as add an additional if statement for when the user doesn't have a business location. And so here you have it, a very modern and clean looking email signature. Finally, we're going to show you how to add a corporate photo into your email signature. First, we've created this predefined attribute called Photo URL. This attribute can be managed by the organization and point directly to the individual's corporate photo. Again, these photos can be stored within the Google Drive environment just like our icons. To add the photo to our email signature, simply add photo URL as an image. In order to see what this would look like, we now need to click the preview button. And here we have my photo embedded within my email signature. In order to correctly format our email signature, we're going to have to do a little bit of HTML editing. And as you can see, we now have our email signature inside a table with two columns. This has now produced a great looking email signature with social icons and a profile picture, with all the information being dynamically driven by the user's profile. Let's now restrict the profile image so that only managers within the managers group have the profile picture displayed in their email signature. This can easily be achieved by using the following if statement. Within this example, managers at mycloudpages.com is the Google group which contains all the managers inside our organization. I am not in the managers group, so I will not have the profile photo added to my email signature. To see what this would look like for other users, let's have a look at Jackson. Jackson is also a Cloud Pages administrator and in the managers group. If we have a look at the Google signature for Jackson, we can now see that Jackson's profile picture is enabled inside his email signature. Amazing, truly dynamic email signatures delivered thanks to Cloud Pages.